Hello everyone, welcome back. What you see there is a cross between, well, it's a cross between a pie and a pudding. This is caramel apple pudding. Yummy. And it's really tasty. Let's make it right now. Well, let's get started with our main ingredient, apples. So I've got Royal Gala. You can use whatever kind of apple you really like. And my apple peeler, actually it's my daughter's. I'm going to peel us some apples. This is a lot of fun, actually. I'm not going to use the whole bag. Uh, you know, I thought I was going to use half, six, and then I said, now let's do a couple more. Because they were so much smaller, I wanted to make sure that uh, there was enough apples for the dish I'm making. Well, obviously, if you want to make something a little smaller for two or three people, do about a half recipe and you should be fine. So I put together the apple peeler and I'm still trying to figure it out and the idea is you kind of twirl it around the blade basically peels off all the skin for you. You don't even have to worry about it. That was kind of fun. So I've got all my apples peeled. Now it doesn't core the one we've got. I know I've seen some where they actually core the apple too. Yeah I know. So we're just going to cut them into pieces and chop them up that way. So I'm trying to get as close as I can with them without taking the uh, the seeds with them and I want to chop them into bite-sized pieces too. And there we go after, hey look at that pretty well filled the pan. So I hope you see what I meant about you gotta kinda make it according to how many you need. This was going to a function so I needed a little bit more. There we go. There's our tin foil pan of chopped up apples. Into a big bowl we go. That is one cup and two thirds of flour. One cup of icing sugar. And that's two teaspoons of baking powder. And we mix her all up, just to get all the dry ingredients combined. Now to that is, this is 10 ounces of melted butter. Well, closely melted, I just threw it in the microwave. And to that, our little bowl, we've got a couple eggs. One and two. Now we're going to give them a quick little beating, nothing too fancy. And into the bowl they go. And now the fun part, mixing it all together. <laughs> now it's almost like a dough ball. Well, there we go, we got it all off the, the whisk and over to our apples. Now let's get spread all over the apples and you can see it's kind of it's kind of doughy so it's going to take a little extra effort to get the little pieces on but it doesn't take much. And there you go we've covered all the apples but that's not all we still have the caramel part into a little pot that's a cup and a half of water and to that one good cup of light brown sugar and then we also need half a cup of light corn syrup now I'm giving a quick spray to the measuring cup because supposedly that keeps the syrup from sticking to the sides and this is just irritating me how long this is taking when I take the lid off, <laughs> it's not getting any quicker. Oh my God, I'm going to have to stay in here forever to get a half a cup out of this thing. Do, 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 do. I almost think I would have been better off to throw a little bit of the warm water into the bottle just to get out all the corn syrup. But eventually, hopefully before Christmas, we'll get out the syrup we need. 
thank God I didn't need like a cup or a cup and a half. Well, eventually we got enough. And we'll just pour it in. Oh, God, it's just taking forever even to come out of the measuring cup. You know, I think it would have been better just to grab my jar of honey out of the cupboard and just do it that way. And next time, I think I will. Oh, we'll give her a stir, 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 until the sugar's dissolved. And bring it to a boil. Don't stir it. Bring it to a boil. And then over to our apples. This is going to get poured on top. So it's pretty liquidy. But that's okay because that's what it's supposed to be. There. Not too bad. And of course you can see all the liquid in the bottom. I'm going to put another pan under it. Just in case there's a leak. Into the oven we go. 350, 40 to 45 minutes until the top's nice and golden brown. Like that. And there you go. Listen, as an afterthought, and if you don't have apples, you can use canned apples. It'll work just as well. Grab some ice cream in a bowl, and you got a great dessert. Hey, another great recipe. I hope you'll give it a try. Leave me a comment below, one way or the other. Listen, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell because that'll tell you the next time I upload a video. Feel free to share this in any of my other videos. And thanks for stopping by and watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.